what is that one reason why you fail or why you are not able to get jrf or whatever your score is it is keeping low it is keeping minimum it is keeping less than the cutoff what is that single thing that is pulling you down what is that thing that you are afraid of in your syllabus of ugc net psychology in today's video we will be going to discuss the fear of psychology we can say the syllabus that single unit which everyone is afraid of and that is what that is unit number 2 research methods or methodology correct me if i am wrong because this is the unit you would have seen in the previous video as well this is the only unit where most of your questions approximately 15% to 20% on an average the questions are coming from this unit number 2 and the reason why you fail the reason why you, you are not able to get what you want is because lack of knowledge or we can say you have lack of practice as well because what you study in your complete syllabus is starting from unit number not 3 unit number 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 your complete focus is on these units learning attention memory emotion and all those topics but you miss out on what you miss out on unit number 2 from where to cover from where to study we have already discussed in the previous video so we will not hang over on that once again we will discuss how you can better yourself in the upcoming session or upcoming examination particularly your unit number 2 that is research methods and if you do this thoroughly if you do this properly then what will happen eventually is that you will be able to do unit not unit sorry my bad you will be able to do paper one research questions as well as soon as you complete unit number 2 of research methods of ugc net psychology you can easily not easily you can pretty easily solve all the questions may be difficult or may be easy whatever questions they are asking in paper one you can solve it very easily pretty easily our students are doing that so you can also do the same thing but provided what you need to understand is that you get a good knowledge on this not just a handful of knowledge okay i know about anova i know about ancova or i know about t test z test or whatever test it is it is not about the handful of knowledge or just a little knowledge but if you study this unit number second comprehensively from your future perspective also it is going to help you okay so the question arises how to do that first of all we will look into the syllabus of your ugc net so this is your unit number second research methodology and statistics so this is the single part and this is the second part first of all research simply the meaning purposes and dimensions so this is the part which comes in your paper 1 right so hypothesis null hypothesis one tail two tail three tail four tail whatever hypothesis it is it comes in paper 1 as well and paper 2 as well so you make sure that you cover this much of topic very efficiently then ethics in conducting and reporting research this can also be asked in paper 1 as well apart from that this paradigms of research the quantitative one the qualitative one and the mixed methods approach so now they have started from december 23 on this line as well along with that methods of research this thing grounded theory they are asking again and again field studies they have asked case studies they are asking ethnography they are asking again and again so all these topics and this statistics portion measures of central tendency dispersion npc pt npt whatever it is wilcoxon sign rank power analysis they have asked this time effect size sampling and all that okay then we will move ahead to correlation analysis correlation pm ro partial correlation multiple correlation regression factor analysis and the designs so 
you can see there are plenty much of a topic in your unit number 2 which you have to cover because there are majorly four types of things the first thing is the research thing the research variable sample that simple one then second is your what the paradigms of research observation methods of data collection and all that then you have the statistics portion ANOVA, MANOVA, MANCOVA and all that and then you have the correlation and that thing the experimental design so you need to cover you must cover all the four portions if you want to score good if you want to score high in this particular unit you can't just rely on this and this because what if they are asking from this side the parametric non-parametric or they are asking about the regression correlation the designs quota sampling and all that so you must go through all the these four subtopics which are mentioned over here in your UDC net syllabus so that you can prepare pretty well for your unit number two all right so from where to study we have already covered that in the previous video so make sure that you watch that video apart from that you can take support of the NCRT book as well they have not mentioned it in that detail but you can study second chapter from 11th class if you have time still if you want to just go through it once you can try and then what you can do is do the practice so from where you can do the practice the best friend of each and everyone is the PYQ all right so you can do the PYQs the previous year questions and you can assess yourself that how much knowledge you are having or how much you know about this particular unit number two because if you cover this unit number two very well then it might be a game changer for you you will score drastically your score will improve drastically provided you do it thoroughly religiously completely you follow the whatever is being told to you and uh, you prepare very well with the help of these PYQs alright so PYQs are your best companion you can rely on this how they are asking what is the pattern what are their focus areas and all of that so even if you do this much it is more than enough that you can score high in this particular unit number two we have also showed you the four subdomains over here the variables part the design part the correlation part and the statistic part so make sure that you have knowledge of all these four subdomains so that the question comes from anywhere if the question comes from anywhere then you will be able to solve it easily all right so they can ask a question from simply the formula of variance all right so you must be prepared for this they can ask the formula for z score they can ask the mean or standard deviation for z score then also you must be prepared even if they ask about the NPC what are its assumptions you might sorry you not you might you must know the assumptions of NPC how it is what it is and how it is made if they ask you about ANOVA you should be able to do all this thing if they ask about FD then you must be able to solve all these questions so from very basic to very high quality high quantity subject topics like what we can say high interest questions as per NTA you will be able to solve from very basic level to advanced level if you do all these things all right so you can from wherever you are studying you must do the PYQs thoroughly it is very 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 important to do the PYQs and you must do the practice if you are having anything for practice of your unit number second all right so what you will do now is you will prepare unit 2 in the upcoming examination very well because why this unit number 2 is becoming more important because now they have included the PhD entrance thing along with your assistant professor qualification I mean okay so you people will be sitting for PhD entrance as well people will be sitting for net as well people will be sitting for GRF as well 
so they might dominate the research part the research questions this time it looks like it's just an assumption but it might be the case that because the phd entrance they ask about the research and all that thing heavily if you have given any phd entrance you might be knowing so be ready for that this time they might increase 25 questions might be 20, 30 questions might be the reach or maybe 15 to approximately 15 questions again they will be going from the research part all right okay so what you will do is complete your unit 2 from wherever whatever you are studying we have already mentioned the books in the previous video make sure you watch that video do the books thoroughly completely plus do the pyqs thoroughly and completely if you this much if you do this much books plus pyq it is more than enough nobody is going to stop you in the unit second question just be aware or be alert of the recent topics the recent pattern change what the nta is doing apart from that if 10 questions have been asked from the research part you will be able to solve 8 to 9 questions very easily very easily very easily provided that you revise it very well all right nothing else is mandatory for you to do nothing else is important important for you to do apart from this all right but 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 there lies the but if you want to increase if you want to increase maybe your efficiency confidence or we can say your precision okay efficiency precision something on same lines and if you want to improve all these of three then what you can do is you can do is pratik practice more right you can practice more so now the question again arises from where to practice it so you can find number of options available online and in these number of options there is now one more option available to you what is that and this is it so this is a uh, we can say a uh, mcq booklet provided by us to our students and you are also one of our precious students so this is the research methods heavily based on unit number 2 of your ugc net psychology apart from that if you do these questions you will be able to solve any research questions related to psychology so this is your we can say the practice booklet of your ugc net of completely for unit number 2 only all right so it comprises of 100 questions 100 questions completely from where from only unit number 2 so you will be able to get 100 questions from where from only and only your unit number second not unit number 1 mix not in number 3 mix not unit number 4 mix not unit number 5 mix so completely completely if you do these 100 questions you will be able to solve unit second questions very easily or if you miss out on some topics then also this will aid you in your unit number second preparation so this is not mandatory but it is suggested that if you want to increase all those three if you want to not miss on any of the area before the examination so it might be the case that you are you have completed unit number second thoroughly completely but some of the questions you are not able to solve you want to practice more that how much you know all right or you can assess the pattern question paper pattern how they are asking so you want to just practice it more so that in the examination hall you can perform well you can achieve your score well so this might help you so the booklet looks like this what you have just seen on the screen so this booklet comprises of 100 practice questions completely and completely from where from unit number second only we have kept testing research reliability validity apart from this research thing so that the efficiency the precision of your ability to solve these questions must be should be high 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 not lower 
high it should be high that's why we have kept only and only unit number second in this pyq not pyq this mcq booklet of 100 questions all right so make sure that you if you want to solve you solve these 100 questions before going the examination then you can see the changes in your score and yes there it will be the changes in your score so make sure that you study unit number second properly you do the pyqs properly this is enough this much is enough you don't need to buy this booklet you don't need to purchase this booklet you don't need to practice this booklet but 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 if you want to increase those three things then you can go for this you can practice you so that you don't miss on any of the topic that is left that you might not have studied because of maybe time consumption less time all right okay but before that how to get this booklet we will deliver at your doorsteps but before getting this booklet or before discussing about how you can get this let's try some questions so that you can have a better idea you can have a better understanding how the questions will be in the examination how you need to study and if you are able to solve these then it's very good you are doing very good 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 but if, if you are not able to solve these questions then you might think on your preparation once it's not compulsory or mandatory that these questions will be as it is copied head in your examination but who knows yeah but theme will be again and again repeated so make sure that you prepare very well this time all right okay so first of all research method this will come like this practice questions booklet so this is completely handwritten by 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 all right this is completely handwritten because the, those typing thing and all that takes a hell lot of a time so first question try to answer this all right okay so moving ahead question number one states that which of the following statements holds true all right a the parametric alternative of t test is man whitney u test Man Whitney U test needs rank data, all right. And the option C is chi square is one of the non parametric statistics, all right. So, what should be the correct answer? We will look into the options, and the options are as A and B only, C and A only, A and B only. Then we have C and A only, B and C only, and A, B, C only. So, what should be the correct answer over here? If you know the correct answer, do comment down below. The correct answer okay so try to answer this question this is question number one of your mcq booklet right so try to answer this question and we will move ahead to next question if you don't find or you, if you don't know the answer for this then make sure that you join the telegram channel this pdf will be uploaded over there and the answer key will also be posted over there you can search with this name the subliminal perception and along with english okay all right the link for telegram channel is down below make sure you click and we will move ahead to question number second okay so second number question states that the works of charles spearman can be identified as option a is he has given unifactor theory of intelligence option number second factor analysis was given by him option c he gave the very famous methods of limits all right nice question what are the options over here is a b c only a b only b only or a and c only all right the question is asking about what about charles pmn what he has done the works of charles pmn he has given unifactor theory factor analysis was given by him and all this so what should be the correct answer over here do comment down below don't forget to subscribe the channel so this is about Charles Spearman. So what will happen while practicing this book list book list booklet is that you will be able to get somewhat of little bit more knowledge about the topic or something like that if you want to practice. Now moving ahead, number next third question. It is asking about arrange the steps of research in proper order. Option number A is formulating a research design, drawing conclusions, identification and control of variables identifying the problem hypothesis formulation so what should be the correct answer over here the options are given as ecdba decab dceab and i don't think you need option number four but still deacb so the, here they are asking about two they are asking not about two 
they are asking to arrange the steps of research in proper order same questions like something like this comes in your nta ugc net examinations so practice will make you perfect so what should be the correct answer over here a b c d four options don't forget to comment down below comment down below and join telegram channel to check whether your answers are correct or not Moving ahead, next question, question number four. Which of the following statements is are correct? Option number A. In action research, the focus is on development of a theory. We can measure a variable. Okay. Confounding variables are variables left uncontrolled. So you can see there is a a good array of topics covered over here. You can see the correct answer. B C only, B A C only, A C only, A B only. What should be the correct answer over here? Don't forget to comment down below. We will move ahead and discuss more questions in our upcoming videos. So make sure you subscribe the channel. All right. So you have seen approximately four questions. The type they have been asked, the areas they are covering from your research. So you will be able to do more 96 questions in this booklet. So it will cover approximately. each and every topic sub topic topic inside your sub topic everything will be covered in this booklet of your ugc net psychology syllabus particularly of your unit number second okay so make sure that you get this booklet if you want to practice more questions regarding your unit number second even if you don't purchase it's absolutely fine nothing is there if you don't do it but but make sure that you study unit 2 properly plus you do the pyqs completely and completely properly okay so this booklet will be your add on on your this preparation okay so it will be like making the dish and this booklet will serve as a garnishing for you okay so before making the dish you cannot garnish and without garnishing it will taste good but it looks better when you garnish all right okay so with this we will end this video i hope you like the video you get to know things how you need to do unit second with utmost importance in your upcoming examination so make sure you prepare unit number second well very well pretty well and if you want some garnishing then you can have this booklet and start practicing so this question this booklet will comprise of what this booklet booklet will comprise of 100 questions completely and completely no unnecessary talks of topics from here and there completely and completely from your unit number second research methods it this booklet is kept in mind is prepared by keeping in mind that you must become a master you must become a good 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 student you must become because this is the thing which you have not studied properly since the beginning so now it's a new beginning so you must do the things properly you must do research methods properly so this booklet will comprise of 100 questions along with their answer key so answer key will be like this 1 2 3 a second b third c answer key will be like this all right so you get a practice booklet for your upcoming examination so make sure you buy if you want to practice and this booklet is completely handwritten as you have seen in the video itself completely handwritten so you will have a taste of what we can say is indigenous knowledge or indigenous thing so in the examination hall you might remember some of the curves some of the things so that will strike you better in the exam hall okay yes that i have solved that question somewhere methods of limits stevens law or whatever it is anova ancova we have discussed or i have seen this that was the wrong answer over there and all that okay so now the question arises how you can purchase this book how you can buy this book so for that the first step is you have to email us you can email us on this psycho professor net at the rate gmail.com make sure the spelling is correct p s y c h o p r o f e s s o r n e t n e t 
at the rate gmail.com you will mail on this that you want the booklet along with your postal address make sure that you mention your address in the first email there and that address should be valid or we can say the address should be in india only and make sure that you if you have ordered something online you are receiving it from amazon or flipkart or whatever app it is make sure you have a deliverable address what you are mentioning because we will be doing this by indian post so indian post will be reaching at the door steps so make sure the address is deliverable and number second step is for, you will mail that you want this book mentioning your address then we will tell you the upi id where you need to make the payment and the payment will be of rupees 149 only this booklet is presented for you at rupees 149 only okay so you will be paying this amount plus the shipping charges 99 rupees along with this and number third will be that you will be getting this booklet once you get a confirmation you will send the screenshot after this payment you will send the screenshot 149 rupees the booklet price plus your 99 rupees of your shipping charge that is they are required and after that we will tell you the confirmation message and the booklet will be posted at your postal address make sure the address is deliverable and nothing can't be done nothing can be done once the order is posted it is shipped so make sure that address is correct verify yourself and it will be posted to you post confirmation of your payment everything will be communicated through the email only or if you have some doubts or if you want to anything you can dm us at the rate mi this thing you can find the link below you can dm over there as well if you have any doubt but if you follow these steps you will get the booklet booklet as soon as possible all right so the first dispatch of april so you can assume if your order is delivered on 29th of april is shipped on 29th of april then approximately around 5th of may you can get this booklet easy, easily and you can prepare well for your upcoming examination all right so make sure you don't forget the date 29th april will be the first shipment released so make sure you do the payment and all that thing before this date on 29th of april on or before 29th of april all right okay if you have any doubt you can comment down below the price is kept very low to make you all practice it very well only rupees 149 the booklet price and rupees 99 your delivery charges you know this is india the we want to keep it more affordable but the delivery thing is something that we can't do much thing with this delivery so that's all for now make sure you mention your address correctly else someone else will be solving the research problems all right and they will be like okay from where this is coming so make sure double verify double check recheck your address the address is mentioned correctly in the email address and your postal address as well make sure to mention your mobile number as well so that in any case if, if the delivery boy or someone wants to call you so that you will you can tell about the address and all that okay all right that's all for now hope you like the video thanks for subscribe the channel see you also thank you